Revelation 2063. From the 10th of September 1941. Internal Prayer. External Impressions. God Everywhere. The world and its customs will never be entirely changed. Everything that is good for the eyes or the senses is the weapon of him who means the world, and he will fight with these weapons as long as the world exists. Only he who makes himself free from its power will also make himself free from actions that are unimportant or obstructive to the shaping of the soul. This is the influence of evil, that it weakens the feeling for truth and lie and that even struggling people are subject to this influence as long as their will does not deny everything that bears witness to adversarial activity. The instructions from above certainly give a clear picture and the human being could change accordingly, yet his senses demand impressions from outside until the truth offered from above fills his entire thinking and striving, only then will he have detached himself from the demands of the world and recognize them as extremely void and meaningless. They are only a danger if the human being neglects the inner formation for their sake, if he finds it difficult to detach himself mentally, if he attaches too much importance to the fulfillment of external actions and is then prevented from intimate union with God, that is if he does not succeed in making himself completely insensitive to external impressions and to go into his innermost being and enter into contact with God. This is far more difficult in an environment that is intended for the senses than if the human being withdraws into his little chamber, that is to be alone with God, uninfluenced by external impressions. The intimacy of prayer will undoubtedly be deeper where all external impressions are absent, thus the union with God will be easier to establish. The human being must be aware of the fact that God is everywhere where the human being wants to be with him. And that no specific place or environment is required in order to bring about union with God. He must be clear about the fact that it is more pleasing to God if he is thought of at every hour and in every place, for God will be everywhere where the human being's thoughts seek him but will most likely be present when the human being is closed off from all the world, when he succeeds in forgetting everything around him. Then he will easily find the bridge that leads into the spiritual realm, into which nothing belonging to the world can be carried over. To pray inwardly is to detach oneself from all earthly things and to connect oneself with the purely spiritual. And so it is understandable that intimate prayer is often called into question where too much worldly things are offered to the eye and the senses. Amen.